We go to Wilkins Field in Mountain Lakes for this huge showdown and off the opening faceoff win by Connor Mackey, watch JJ McBride score and just like that the Green Wave has a 1-0 lead 9 seconds into the game. Del Barton takes a 3-1 lead here off the rip from Jordan Dowiak and the Green Wave is up by 2 over its arch rivals. Now watch this great effort and patience shown by Christian Cuccinello as he sends in the blast and Mountain Lakes trails 4-2. Then Cuccinello ties it up here with his terrific effort as he scores and we are tied at four after one quarter of play. Second quarter action we go and despite the good Mountain Lakes defense, Jordan Dowiak is still able to score and Del Barton goes up six to four. And the Green Wave take a seven to five lead at the break off this nice goal by TJ Comizo and it's a two goal game. Okay, third quarter we go and watch Jordan Dowiak turn on the Jets and he lets it rip to push Del Barton's lead to three, eight to five. And watch this terrific shot by Jordan Dowiak as he goes low with a tough angle shot and Del Barton takes a nine, seven lead. Mountain Lakes looks to answer and it does here on the nice power move by Christian Cuccinello as he cuts Del Barton's lead to one, nine to eight. And Mountain Lakes knots it up at nine here. Watch Christian Cuccinello zip it to Davis Thompson on the doorstep and he scores with 4.05 left in the third quarter. It stays tied after three quarters thanks to this nice save by Del Barton goalie Steven Kulvowski as we go to the fourth quarter tied at nine. What a game. Fourth quarter we go and Mountain Lakes takes its first lead of the game here as Xander Kotzer buries the jump shot and it's 10-9 Mountain Lakes early in the quarter. After Del Barton tied it at 10, Mountain Lakes retakes the lead here as Zach Lesko scores to make it 11 all with 141 left in the game. But Del Barton gets the lead back here off another nice goal from JJ McBride and we have a tie ball game, 11-11 with 49 seconds in the fourth. All right, time's running out and with four seconds left, watch Connor Mackey load up and fire in the game winner as Del Barton nips Mountain Lakes 12-11 in a good win at Mountain Lakes High School. It was an awesome one for us. I think our team uh, is really on an upswing right now. And uh, something that it was coming in here. It was, uh, you know, Laker Day. It's a big one. It's, a, it's an event that's circled on the calendar every year. Uh, we knew hats off to Mountain Lakes. They played a great game. Uh, we knew it would go uh, back and forth and that it would be a fight. And uh, it was awesome to come out with the W. But great team. Hopefully we'll see them again. It's just the greatest rivalry in high school across. You know, it was a beautiful day. We were ready for them. We had off yesterday, watched a lot of film on them, and everyone just played hard, and it, and it worked out for us. We told our boys coming in today that it would be a slugfest, and it, it really did turn out to a slugfest and uh, we told these boys to honor the game it doesn't get any better than Matt Lakes versus Del Barton and this was just another classic of uh, the long history we've had with them. Now you guys scored within the first 10 seconds of the game to get it started and then you scored within the 10 last seconds of the game for the win talk about that. Uh, well the first one was, was really good momentum one for us uh, we went up four goals but it was great uh, we did a great job controlling the uh, the face off at the beginning of the game we came down we had a nice fa fast break goal with JJ McBride finished off for us at the end um, and then 10 seconds coach called a called the timeout off the end line so he drew up a good play for us uh, JJ had a great dodge off the end line uh, found me up top at that point it was just it was just finishing but uh, yeah so it was it was uh, a good two good goals for us. We came out with with some poise, uh, which was which was nice to see and we you know, we stuck to our game plan. We we thought some things would work and we were fortunate uh, that that happened and we were able to control the face-offs in the beginning and um, you know, we got some got some good opportunities. No, that's great. This year, you know, we've been we've been struggling sometimes starting out strong and to see that right off the face-off, Connor Mackey run down, fast break, it was great, great way to start the game and we knew, we knew they were going to battle back. They always do. They're a great program. They have a lot of pride. So we knew it was going to be a battle the whole game. And we just kept going. Talk about your final goal scorer. Our final goal scorer, Connor Mackey, you know what, he played through a lot of pain. You know what, he hurt his knee, he was out for a little bit, he has a lot of pride. He came out and he, uh, he delivered for us, big time. Well, you know, we went with what was working. Um, we had some success with something going, so we wanted the boys to stay in their comfort zone, so we just said, hey, this has been working, let's keep going. You guys are rolling a little bit now, moving into the Morris County Tournament, just talk about working hard. Yeah, so uh, our team, we've, we've had two great wins going into Chatham next week. is going to be an important one for us, and then moving into the tournament. Um, I think we're, we're looking to, to, uh, to win again this year, but I'm sure we're going to see this team again, and uh, it'll be a good one. So, yeah, we've had some good practices. Our team's on an upswing, really coming together, figuring out you know what really works for our team right now, and uh, I think we're doing a really good job all around. So.